Hi, stick around to see how I made these authentic Shoji style doors for a little extra storage space in my garage. Shoji are relatively simple to make and once you've learnt the steps and techniques that I'll show you in this short series, you'll be making your own very soon. I need to cover an area of 950 wide by 765 high, which I'm going to do with two Shoji. They'll both be the same and consist of a figure of eight frame with a hip board in the lower opening and a lattice panel above. Some simple math will give you the sizes of all your components or you could draw it out full scale. When you do the math, do be careful to recognize how your doors will close. My overlay doors will be like the top of this picture, whereas sliding doors, the styles in the middle overlap. So the rails will need to be longer for the same opening. Traditionally, shoji are built from softwoods like pine or cedar, with the frames and kumiko made from straight grain cordosaur material, whereas the hip board is usually made from something chosen for its character figure. I'm using recycled pine from an antique uh, chest of drawers and also a knotty pine bed frame. Uh, but I've also got an offcut of straight grained cordosaurn pine to make the kumiko from. Hip boards are usually glued up panels with the grain running from bottom to top, ideally book matched. Here I am resawing the back of a drawer to produce the book matched centre two boards of my panel and the outer two boards will come from the drawer bottom which is already very thin. All the parts of the hip board need to be thicknessed and smoothed. All the mating edges are butterfly jointed so that when they're glued together the panel remains nice and flat. And here I'm just putting a registration mark for the glue up. And because all the joints were nicely prepared, we can use the masking tape method for the glue up. So just creating a hinge with the masking tape, opening the joint, filling it with glue, then closing it all up again, and just applying a bit of flat pressure on there. Any glue squeeze out is very quickly cleared up with a card scraper. The ends of the panel get squared off and I just shoot those with, uh, with the plane. Once the ends are squared I'll be able to cross cut the panel into the two hip boards and at a later stage we'll be able to fit it into the bottom of the frame. See you next time.